We have some incredible news, mate. Manchester City are going to win the Sex to Paul this season, mate. Please remember, if you're new here, to subscribe to the channel just down below. Manchester City are, what, officially the champions of Europe. They've won the Champions League and they've won the Super Cup, mate. Beating Sevilla 5-4 on penalties. I love the penalty shootout so much. All of them were pretty much perfect until the last one, which meant Manchester City won, right, the goals. And Sevilla went 1-0 up, mate. And I actually thought in the first half they were going to be winning the Super Cup. Kuna Put in a delicious ball, mate. A little Mr. Whippy that you get from the ice cream man, you know what I mean? Sending it into the box. Who was there to meet it, mate? Elness here. Smacks it off his head. Posted in. Edison stood no chance whatsoever. I thought I was going to be writing a completely different video. But boy, was I wrong. Sevilla in the first half had absolutely no fear of Manchester City. It's like they were playing their local pub side, a local five-a-side team. They, they, they weren't phased by the treble winners of last year. And fair play, fair play, City were a completely different outfit in that second half, mate. And I have to praise a young man in the name of Cole Palmer. He came alive in that second half, mate, and scored the equaliser. An incredible looping header going over Bono. He was he was right to the spot, mate, just watching it go over, watching it go into the top left-hand corner, and what an exquisite ball from Rodri, the beast, the tank. He can do it all, mate. He can score Champions League final winning goals. He can whip a ball into the box. He can make a game-winning tackle. But I can tell you this, Cole Palmer is going places. An incredible header in that. And also, that finesse shot in the community shield, mate. The sex tuple is alive. If you don't know what a sex tuple is, that means six. 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 Right there. Not sex. Six. But it's called a sex tuple because six tuple doesn't really um, rhyme. You're an idiot if you didn't know what a, a sex tuple was. So six trophies then. The Premier League. I'll count it my thumb first. The Premier League. The Champions League. The League Cup. The FA Cup. The Super Cup. The Club World Cup. They could have had seven. And I don't even know... What goes on after six? Seven? Seven tuple? They can win the whole lot. They can get the sex tuple so easily. I think they're going to be the first English team to ever do it, mate. And this is going to send shockwaves through the whole of planet Earth. They will do this with Kevin De Bruyne out for, what, three to four months now, they are going to walk the Premier League. I have a very good feeling in my heart, in my bones. I'm saying in my heart like a Manchester City fan. I'm really not. League Cup, they're walking. They've won it so many times. FA Cup, they can do it. Super Cup, tick that one off, mate. May have actually bottled the Community Shield, but never mind. It was a penalty shootout. And the Club World Cup, where they're probably going to be playing someone like Sao Paulo or... Someone like that from South America in the final. They're going to walk it. This is one of the biggest claims that I've ever made on this channel in my life as well. Man City will win the sex tuple. Clip it up. I don't care. I was about to say I'll shave my head if they don't win the sex tuple. But the possibility of them winning the sex tuple is probably very slim. And if they don't, I actually think they'll probably win the treble. Or even the quad, mate. They could win the quad. And still, that is an impressive thing. No English team has ever won the quadruple. Ever. But then at the same time, no team has ever won the sex tuple. Sex. It just, it just sounds it sounds great. Like when you say it. Yeah. I, I'm not a freak. I'm not, I'm not a weirdo. I'm not a I'm not a, um, I'm not obsessed with sex. It just sounds cool. Um, the sex tuple winners of last year. Sounds brilliant. Right, some of the strong moments from today. Sevilla actually deserve so much credit, mate. They look so solid going forwards. And defensively, mate, they were so sound. I think the sun in the first half might have gotten the better of Manchester City. But listen, 
They came back in the second half. Pep Guardiola gave them a good C in two in the changing rooms. And they came out a completely different team. So they managed to keep Erling Haaland quiet in the first half. Cole Palmer and Jack Grealish, Kovacic, they could not feed Haaland. Didn't even score today. Did score a penalty. But could not score within 90 minutes. Sevilla just, like, they worked like a pack of wolves, mate. They worked like a pack of wolves in that first half and fair play to them. They bullied City, to be honest, in that first half. And they can be very, very proud of themselves. Have they even won the Super Cup? The amount of times they've been on the Super Cup, have they actually won it or not? City did look decent towards the back end of the first half and then it all changed from there. El Nasiri at the start of the second half, an incredible ball that got played in through to him. Does it first time, can't finish his dinner. He could have easily killed the game off right there. Lucas Campos was incredible. Skipped past Carl Walker like he wasn't even there. Sent in for an early Bovril and a hot dog. He was somewhere in the stands, mate. Carl Walker was nowhere to be seen. Lucas Campos had him on chips. Shame that they couldn't make it 2-0. It would have been an incredible comeback for Manchester City if Sevilla did go 2-0 up. Second half of the game, City just worked the ball so beautifully into the box. Some of the worries, and I obviously I, I want City to win the sex two pool. I am worried, even though I didn't support Manchester City, that burnout could be a major factor in their season. They have got so many games. Mate. This is going to be the most busy season in Manchester City's history, ever. Ever. Think about all the cup competitions. Think about the Super Cup. They haven't had to play in the Super Cup. This is their first ever Super Cup that they have won. Club World Cup. Playing, what, two or three games abroad somewhere whilst the Premier League's still on. Burnout could genuinely happen. But we all know that Manchester City are freaks, mate. And, and they can come back from anything, to be honest with you. But... I do not know how they're going to cope with this amount of games. It's going to be interesting to see with a crazy busy season. Even in England, you're sometimes playing three times a week. And with Champions League as well, three times a week. So City are going to be playing three times a week for a majority of this season. When push comes to shove towards the end of the season, when you've got, what, a title challenge, an FA Cup final, and also the latter stages of the Champions League, it's going to be very interesting to see how they get on. And the other factor as well, like I mentioned a couple of minutes ago, Kevin De Bruyne is out for a couple of months for a hamstring injury. So a lot of people, and they will, and they will step up with Kevin De Bruyne's absence. But that is going to be a massive factor. Improvements. And there's not actually that many of them, to be honest. Just get Haaland into the game more. Even though Haaland scored 56 goals last season. And you actually can't slag Haaland off. You can't slag any of the players off. Because they are, until they win the Club World Cup, the best team in the world. Right now, solid to see Cole Palmer. Great to see him scoring again, mate. He is going to be an unbelievable footballer, mate. I hope he just gets some more minutes. Good to see Phil Foden getting some minutes as well. He's going to be integral, integral to this Manchester City team whilst Kevin De Bruyne is out, mate. And Rodri, mate, the guy baffles me every single time. Let's just say it one more time. Sex two pool, 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 sex two pool. I said it six times, not one more time. I actually firmly believe that Manchester City will win the sex two pool this year. Come at me, bro. Please remember, if you're new here, to subscribe to the channel just down below.